All right, here we go. So first thing I wanted to say hi to Big Mike at MT Homestead. Uh, how you doing, buddy? If we were neighbors, we'd have a lot of fun. Uh, I wanted to show you, so up here in central Pennsylvania, we call them pecans. So here's my pecan tree. Well, one of two. I planted these are about 15 years old. And I've yet to get uh, any pecans off of them. But uh, I'll show you. That's what I was... I'd say they're about 20 feet tall. And these... These are probably about well, three, four inches in diameter. This is a English walnut. And this thing has been struggling. But it looks like the good Lord, he uh, took care of it this year. It looks like it's finally starting to come back. And then this one up here is another pecan tree. Now you can see this is a I uh, forget how they describe that, but instead of it splitting off, it's just one big thing. But um, Now this one here, it's about, oh, I'd say she's a good five inches in diameter. And they're just, see if I can get this phone to focus, but they're just starting to butt out. It looks like. Yeah, it looks like to me the first, the first buds got frosted, but I can see some new buds coming here. But these are, um, I think they call them like Hall's Hardy al Almond or something like that, but they're Hall Hardy Almond, or not Almond, uh, Pecan, that we can grow up here in, uh, I think I'm Zone 6, but... Anyway, these things are, I think when I bought them, the book said uh, they're supposed to produce in 15 years, but I've yet to get any off of them. We'll see what happens this year. All right, stand by. Here's the pack. There's, uh, try and zoom in. So there's Maverick and Bubba. He's 13. Maverick's the black lab he's one of the puppies we rescued and then we got the farm dog over here he's oh that's a little soggy he's on protect mode and then goosey the yellow lab he's eating one of his mom's flower pots because puppies eat everything good boy all right stand by all right, so this is, here comes Raina. She's coming over to say hi. You think I'm gonna let you out? Hmm? Sweet girl, you're supposed to be paying attention to your mom. She's out there waiting for you. Well, this is what the upper pasture looks like where we have the horse, we let her graze in here. She's got it grazed down pretty good. And the lower pasture, you can see it's all but seeded out. I'm waiting for the uh, crimson clover to go to seed, and then I'm going to mow that down. Most of that stuff that's in seed there is uh, Kentucky bluegrass. All right, stand by. Here's a good representation of what your crimson clover looks like. It kind of has the same growing structure as red clover, but it uh, gets really big like seed heads on it now we're gonna walk over here so big mike put out a video today can you have too many chickens well my answer to that is no so i moved the chicken tractor over here they're in uh this about acre or acre and a quarter where i uh raise my pasture pigs so they're doing some fertilizing over here i'm gonna I got to till all this up and replant it here eventually as soon as I get my no-till drill Which is going to be a big investment, but through the REAP program here in Pennsylvania 
you can get reimbursed for most of what you spend on it. Um, they do it through carbon credits and then you can sell your carbon credits and get most of your money back. But you got to pay tax and stuff on it, which taxes are, in my opinion, completely illegal. But whatever. What do I know? I'm just a... Whatever. I ain't even going to go there. Because it just makes me angry. Anyway. So, the more chickens you have, I got like 18 in here. Um, I'd like to have 50. Because um, then you can... They'll put down more fertilizer quicker. You can move them faster. Um, and... It just works better. This is uh, the birthing pattern where I had Big Red last year. Where she littered out. Um, and you can see this cereal rye planted. It's already... Phew, some of it's five feet tall. So I got to mow that off. I'm going to wait till it seeds out. And then I'm going to mow it off. But anyway. Back to the order or business of the day. Big Mike. It's been raining up here in central PA for. She's pushing six, seven days now straight. We've barely had a, an hour of sun. So it's been. been pretty crazy look there's just mud everywhere of course with having four dogs that doesn't help anything with uh keeping the mess down in the house but it is what it is we love our animals so we're gonna take care of it now you commented on that one video that uh you like to finish on the floor so i'm just gonna show you here this is what it looks like now. They used an oil-based concrete sealer. And I know exactly what you mean about finally getting your chicks moved out. Although, my boy, this is his garage. He, I don't have a dime in it. We built this loft this weekend. And I got most of the stairs put in, but we ran out of uh, tube of twelves for the tread, so... That's as far as I got, and I'm getting ready to hang up a light here for him, but, uh, yeah, those stinking purple martins keep flying in here. They're so stupid. Anyway, I quit chasing the bird. Make you guys dizzy. Uh, anyway, so the concrete finish, it, you, you see how it's fading out here, and the best I can gather is it's just curing, and that's, what it does or whatever but it's really smooth real easy to sweep and stuff and it it works out really good uh and normally when i raise the peeps i keep them over here in this green shed which this thing's over 25 years old now and uh i'm probably gonna tear this thing down and re redo the whole thing but anyway you can see there's not an inch of room in here. I just oiled this. This is a Fisher. And I just put the tanning solution on it this morning. So it'll give it a week or so here to soak that up. And then I'll start uh, working a little bit to loosen the hide up. But anyway, this is my pig shelter I built for when we get the pigs here in June. Built that last year, thought I was gonna need it, but I didn't. Anyway, uh, we're still working on a lot of stuff in here. Uh, we're gonna build a wall across there, close that off, and uh, you know, close the ceiling off and all that stuff so we have some storage and stuff up there. But we're doing a little bit at the time and as we can. Trying to get things set up here. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway. Uh, just wanted to say hi to Big Mike. Uh, thanks for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you. And, uh, that's what I got going on here. I'd like to get some chickens this year, but, uh, I just got a lot of stuff going on. So, I don't know if I'll get any chickens this year or not. But, I was at Royal King the other day, and they had, uh, I like Americanas for... Our area, I think they're the best 
most versatile all-around chicken uh, but and they had them on sale for a dollar piece I did not buy them I stood there for about 15 20 minutes trying to figure out where I could put them and all that stuff and I was like I just can't do it right now I got too much going on uh, but that's an update that's what we got done this weekend God bless each and every one of you We'll see you on the next one. Here we go.